Welcome to Fighting for Our Lives. Okay, this is gonna be a quick video, and I say quick, it's gonna be a short video on how we can turn, or can we turn a negative, a negative situation into a positive situation? Okay, is this possible? There's gonna be some of us who have had a lot more negative situations in our lives, and some of us who might have had less, but big, massive situations. But ultimately, we've all experienced negativity, okay? So what I want to look at today, I've got some notes here and I want to make sure that I've covered everything. Okay, so... We've all had a situation that's impacted us in a negative way, okay? And it's impacted us spiritually, mentally, even physically sometimes, okay, health-wise. And... I want to try and look at the difference between someone, let's take a relationship for example, okay, a bad relationship, a bad relationship's ended and then you get some people that will go through five months, one year, a couple of years or the rest of their life where they're affected in a really bad way by this activating event and then we get someone else who has gone through the exact same activating event and it almost springboards them, or motivates them to have the best life that they could ever live. And I wanna look at the why, whys and hows of how that happens or how we can make that happen, okay? As humans, it's quite natural for us to stay in a negative mindset. It's, it's, it's a natural thing, okay? Negative things kind of impact us more and we can tend to focus more on a negative than a positive. I think we've all experienced that, okay? <clears throat> bear with me, just to make sure we've got everything. We have the power within us to change a situation for the better, okay? It's, in our, it's our mentality that separates us. Or we can have the pride, our ego, fears, different feelings and emotions from the event that will separate, separate us from being free and go on to lead a good life, or it kind of succumbs us and leaves us suffering with that negative event and the impact of that. What we can't do is look for excuses as to why we're the victim and kind of take on that victim mentality. We must be able to take accountability for what's happened in the event. One of the main things is anger. We get a lot of anger Obviously, if it's a relationship, a loss of a job, a, a bad health injury. And with that anger, ultimately is fear. And fear is what can make our thinking completely irrational and make us trapped, kind of imprisons us. And we kind of, kind of take that then, those feelings and emotions, all those negative feelings and emotions, we can take them from one aspect of our life into another. And before you know it, it kind of impacts everything, everything about us. What we need to try and do, okay, is look at the negative as a chance to see what, what's happened. Okay, what could we have done better or differently? Why did it happen? Why did we even stay in a situation in the first place? Why didn't, why didn't we stop it? Why didn't we listen to our friends? Why didn't we listen to our gut? Family, okay, we need to understand the whole thing around the whys, okay? If we now look at the, try and look at the positives, this starts with our thinking. Our thinking needs to be better. 
ultimately that's the thing. Our thinking is going to be the thing that enables us to turn a negative into a positive. Okay? For example, telling ourselves, if this never happened, I could have been stuck in this situation. Okay? For example, if you're in a, in a relationship and there was cheating, lying, uh, abuse, okay, just, 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 just a bad domestic setup. And these are the things that we kind of like, sometimes we can let go, kind of block out, ignore, and they keep us into this, in a bad situation. Now, it's finished, and it, although it hurts us, and we're shocked, and, we're, and you know, it's an impact to us on a negative way, we can also turn that into, if this didn't happen, we would have been stuck in that situation, okay? If we got a bad injury, so we get a bad injury. I myself had a bad injury and it made, I injured my ankle. So ultimately, I was told that I'd never be able to have a career, okay, in fighting anymore. First of all, that impacted me in such a negative way because I just, I just looked at the injury and I'll never be able to, the doctor was telling me I'll never be able to do something that I love. But ultimately, in the end, and it was quite, quite, you know, a few years afterwards, I ultimately was able to look at the situation and look at what I did wrong leading up to that and what I could have done better with my training, with the preparing, with my with keeping my body healthier. You know, there was certain aspects that I could have done better to avoid what happened. That's the positives that I can take out of that situation. Even though I've got the injury and I can't fight again, I can then I can use that to tell other people what not to do. I can I can make sure that doesn't happen again in the rest of my training and even in other parts of my life. So we can learn from the negative. Even if we stay in a job, it may pay good money, okay, great money, but mentally, it's. It's destroying us. It's destroying our home life. It's destroying how we think, how we feel. So all we're thinking about is the money coming in, but it's actually making us miserable, okay? So we can look at it like I would have, that, if I would have stayed in that situation, it would have caused me to have a breakdown, okay? Now we need to ask ourselves things like, it gives us the opportunity, okay? Do we need counselling? Do we need to reassess our career, our career path? Do we need to start all over again and get the chance finally to look at who we are? We can get lost in relationships. We can get lost in jobs. We can get, we can get lost in many things because we're just one track minded. And it's not until that kind of blows up or something negative happens that that allows us to then look at the whys. What could we have done better? What do I need to do now to make sure that doesn't happen again? And one of the big ones for me definitely was, I didn't even know who I was coming out of certain situations in, in terms of relationships and sometimes even jobs. We were so focused. And after the fact, when I dusted myself off and, and give myself a good talking to, it was a case of, I don't really, I've lost myself along the line. And it gave me the opportunity to actually start afresh and start building and working on things that I liked as a person that I wanted to do, things that had inspired me, things that I'd forgot about or put on hold. Now I've got the chance to re reassess, redo them and go again, you know? Do I need to reconnect with old family and friends? Sometimes you can, can kind of drift away. Do I need to change my friends? Do I need to block out certain parts of my members of my family? Okay. Um, go to college. I can, I can go to, can I start open university, do some online training, go back to college, do night classes. These are things that now we can start looking at that we might not have had the chance before, when we were before the negative event happened. Okay, we can start learning, get some books, get some passion, 
do things, take up hobbies and interests, start a sports career. Sorry, start a sports as a hobby or something. Even sport, take a start a sports career if you're young enough. A change, a whole change in direction. This allows us that. Once we're out of a situation, yeah, and it goes, it's going to be hard at first. But when you're out of it, the mentality, the thinking, once we change it for the better, a whole world opens up. But it doesn't if we just keep in that negative mindset. Because all we can see and all we can think about and we're, all we're consumed by is the negativity and the negative emotions, the negative feelings, the negative impact of it all. And that's, that's, we're imprisoned by that. Okay, and that, that makes us almost like frozen in time. Okay? Changing our mindset is the key. It's the key to everything. Changing our mindset. Like that, there's an old saying. If nothing changes, it stays the same. So we could come out of a bad relationship, change nothing, go in a new relationship and the same things repeat. We could, be, we could um, get a bad injury, training or in a sport, change nothing and get a worse injury. But if the negative things happen, the bad injury, the bad relationship breakup, and we assess it and look into it, we can stop those, not just stop those things from happening again, but even make, like, make, our, make our ability and our levels and the chance of meeting someone better go higher and higher and higher to places that we never even thought and never even imagined. Okay, so... Even if you're somebody... Okay, who wants to put the complete blame on the other person. Let's say we're in that relationship situation, it's finished, it's ended, and you're the type of person who just wants to put the blame onto them. Okay? You can turn around and say, they were, they were complete, they were absolutely shit. Okay? Then I can ask you, okay, so why did you put up with it for so long? Why did you stay in that situation for so long? If they were so rubbish in your mind, why was you in that situation in the first place? So these are all questions. If you're not going to ask yourself why, certainly other people can. But at the end of the day, if you're not going to ask, if you're not going to be the one who's going to ask yourself why and you're quite happy to blame, blame everybody and look for all the excuses in the world, you are not going to go nowhere. Everything is going to stay exactly the same. And you could even be one of those people, okay, after the fact, and turn around and go, do you know what? All men, all women are, are complete crap. They're all the same. Okay? No. No. You, your choices in men or women are, is flawed. Why don't you change the way you approach the whole relationship thing. Take time out. What is it about you that goes from one bad relationship to another bad relationship? Maybe it's not even the people. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's, maybe it's both. But ultimately, if you're not willing to take any accountability for anything, it's going to stay the same. Okay? Strength of character. Strength of character. We need to show, we need to show them what we're all about. We need to show the world what we're all about. When this positive, sorry, when this negative impact, the event impacts us, when it impacts us, we need to show ourselves and the people around us how we respond to that. Some of us don't respond. We just pick up a drink, pick up the drugs, and start, you know, wallowing in, in misery and pity and, and, and negativity. Ultimately, we're going to start showing the people around us that. If you're, if you're a family person, okay, or in your, in your um, peer group, even at work, 
those people around you are going to start kind of like picking up on those those negative beliefs that you're that you're putting out there and the way you're dealing with it in a negative way that's going to impact others it's probably going to enhance the chance if you're around kids that they're going to take those same opinions on those negative opinions and values and that mindset and the way you're dealing with things in a, such a negative way they're going to do those same things and then their kids are going to do those same things but you can also be the kind of person that shows everyone around you that yeah you was hurt yes you was affected but guess what I made sure that that thing that happened will never happen again. And ultimately taking, by changing your thinking, by focusing and taking accountability on the whys, the hows, you can change not only your life, not only your life for the better, but those around you. You'll inspire people. You'll inspire yourself. Because anybody, anybody, it doesn't take strength or courage or wisdom to get hurt and devastated by, by a situation and do nothing about it and just accept it. And then be the kind of person who says, why does, why does bad things always happen to me? You, you are the reason. You're, you're, you're the reason why bad things keep happening to you. Because you can't see the fact that it's you who needs to change. It's you who needs to approach things from a whole different perspective. And sometimes this is, this is all coming. The way we deal with things is all coming from our childhood. And the people we were around. And this is why it repeats and repeats and repeats. But you're damn right we can change a negative and turn that into the thing that fires us, motivates us, and makes sure, one, it doesn't happen again, and two, we just go forward and higher and higher and higher. And you can take that about any situation, any negative situation. It's your mindset that's gonna separate, your mentality that's gonna separate you from the person who does nothing, and just crumbles and decays and away and, and lives a life of misery and then just dies to the person who goes through that negative event and just soars. We need to always be fighting. It's like a, there's a good analogy like in life from like from boxing. It is not how hard we can hit is how hard we can get hit, spit the blood out, and keep going. But when you go back to your corner, if you don't look at it, look at it and wonder, why, how come I got hit? Why am I getting my ass kicked? If you're not going to ask them questions, you're going to go back out there and get your ass kicked again and again and again. But if you go back to your corner and look at what can you do better, why are you allowing these things to happen? You can change the whole fight. And it's exactly the same in life. If we can take accountability of, of, of the impact and the part we play in a negative, because there will be some, whether you like it or not, there will be a part that we play in a negative situation that happens to us. If you can do that, you can change anything into a positive. And that's where the whole, the whole thing of fighting for your life. I will always fight. I will fight until I die. And I've had nothing easy. And there's most, most of that has been by my own choices, by my own ignorance. Is what's made my life difficult. But the change now is because I looked at what I need to change. I need to start afresh. I need to listen. I need to be humble. But I need, to, I need to be in a situation where I have unconditional self-acceptance of the things that are wrong, the things that go wrong, and the part I have in them. Never, ever allow a negative situation define who you are and define 
how you live your life. It's down to you. It's down to you to make sure that you are happy. It's your responsibility. It's my responsibility to, ability to make sure I am happy. Okay? And just remember this. However we live our lives, however we, we come back from, from turmoil, from bad things, from negative things, doesn't just show ourselves that we can do anything. It shows the people around us, most importantly our kids, that fighting for their lives is what they're going to be doing. So fighting for their lives is what they need to be seeing the parents, the, the carers, the, the family, the friends, they need to be seeing us doing it. Okay? And I hope, I hope you, something in this video you found helpful. Okay? And if you're struggling with anything, please get in touch with your doctor. Okay? Because I'm, I'm not... I'm not one of those people who... And I understand that there's certain situations that we can go through that... Like a death, <clears throat> there's, there's, there's certain things that we can go through in a negative sense that are not just as straightforward as just turning it into a positive, okay? I'm very, very aware of that. But most of the things that we go through in life are doable, okay? So if you are impacted on something that you're really struggling with, go and see your doctor, Go and see a counsellor, go and see a, see a health worker, okay? And, like, listen, like I always say, never stop fighting for your lives. You get one and one only, okay? Peace and love. Take care.